Good morning. It is Thursday. Uh, hopefully the first two uh, days without me went okay. I've gotten good reports so far, so keep up the good work. I appreciate your diligence and willing to adapt to what's being thrown at you. So um, yesterday you took some notes from a video on conjugating AR verbs. Uh, those are verbs that end in AR. So right at the top of page 50 in our V-text, so if you could go to your V-text right now, page 50 in your V-text. says, in order to talk about activities, you need to use verbs, of course. Verbs express actions or state of being. So a state of being is like the verb ser that we learned in lesson one. In English and Spanish, the infinitive is the base form of the verb. And we talked about an infinitive yesterday in the notes. It's the verb minus the AR or ERIR, which we'll learn here in the future. So like ser is the infinitive. Estudiar is the infinitive of to study. So there are some AR verbs there. Estudiar, comer, escribir. We're just worried about the AR verbs today. So just a reminder of your notes. So the singular forms, like if we have estudiar, to study, we take off the AR, which is the stem. I talked about that yesterday. So yo estudio, tu estudias. LA usted estudia. Nosotros o nosotras estudiamos. Vosotros, vosotras, estudiáis. Ellos, ellos, ustedes, estudian. So we take off the AR and add O, AS, A, AMOS, AIS, or AN, according to our subject. All right, so it says to create these, we drop the infinitive ending, A, R, E, R, I, R, and then add the stem to the ending that corresponds to the different subject pronouns. So if we have like estudiar, the stem is estudi, I study, estudio, bail, bailar, um, bail is the stem, so bailas, trabajar, the stem is trabaj, T-R-A-B-A-J, and trabajamos. All right, let's jump to the next page. So what do these actually mean? We talked about this a little bit yesterday. Of course, these are the AR verbs that you have in letters I, J, and K in your vocab list. So we're on page 51 now. It says, unless referring to a person, the Spanish verbs buscar, escuchar, esperar, and mirar do not need to be followed by prepar uh, prepositions. So buscar means to look for. So you don't have to put the word for. You just say busco. It means I'm looking for. I'm waiting for. You don't say espero para. You just say espero. I'm looking at. You don't say miro a. Just miro. I'm listening to. Escucho. Not escucho a. So just remember that as we go forward. Uh, just a, a minor point. So as I reference in our, in our notes too, these things can mean different things. Um, like English uses three sets of forms to talk about the present. The simple present, like Paco works, Paco trabaja. The present progressive, Paco is working. It's like what he's doing right now. And the emphatic present, Paco does work. So in Spanish, the present tense is also used to express the future action, Marina travels, she will travel, is traveling. So as we work through these verbs, you'll notice that um, they can mean a lot of different things. And the last thing I talked about in my notes yesterday, when two verbs are used together with no change of subject, the second verb is generally in the infinitive. We call that the two-verb rule, where the first verb is conjugated. Like if you want to say, I want to speak, de say was I want or I desire, to speak, hablar. Notice the first verb is conjugated. The second one is in the infinitive. Alicia no desea, doesn't want to dance. Desea is conjugated in third person singular. And bailar is left in the infinitive. All right, so just a little review of these notes. Use your notes as you're doing the work, all right? Uh, so let's take a look at your homework from yesterday. So if you would go to your calendar, go to the homework for today. Let's see. Mine's going to show a little bit differently because I'm actually doing this video on Wednesday. So Thursday, tabla de verbos. Here's the answer key. Just had to fill in the verbs, of course. Remember like cantar? I think I did that one maybe in the example in the yesterday's video. Cantar, we take off the AR, canto, cantas, canta, cantamos, cantan. Preguntar means to ask a question. Pregunto, preguntas, pregunta, preguntamos, 
Preguntan. Contestar to answer. Contesto. Contestas. Contesta. Contestamos. Contestan. Practicar. Practico. Practicas. Practica. Practicamos. Practican. Desear. Deseo. Deseas. Desea. Deseamos. Desean. And llevar. I'm sorry. Desear means to desire. Llevar means to carry or to take. Llevo. Llevas, lleva, llevamos, llevan. So all we did was take off the AR and the O formatted O, two formatted AS, the third person singular, A, first person plural, AMOS, and third person plural, A. Notice there's no ice in there, so like we talked about previously. Perfecto. All right, so for today, oops, you are going to do a review with some dice. And Senora Berg will describe that to you. I'm going to bring that up. I forgot it's in my Google Drive. So you're going to get a sheet that will have some subjects on it as well as some verbs. Here we go. Some subjects and some verbs. So notice the de color means a colored. You're going to get a red or a green dye. And you're also going to get a white one. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll the dice. Let's say you get a one and a one. The yo form of hablar is hablo. So you and your partner, or you do it by yourself if you want, you're going to write, make some columns, put your name at the top. So if I would go first, Senor Berg, I would get a one and a one, I would write hablo. My partner Juan goes and he rolls a four and a four. Pablo y Pabla, two names, so he would write Buscan, all right? So you're just going back and forth like that. Kind of describes that here. Now, just to remember, yo is first person singular, two is second person singular, a is third person singular. Pablo and Pabla and ustedes are third person plural, so you're going to use an, and of course, the nosotros, nosotras, you're using the amo sending. Then there's another page. There's a little example of what you're going to write there. Um, on the back side, there's different subjects. Remember, el and usted are third person singular. Juana y yo, first person plural. Ellos, third person plural. Mis amigas, third person plural. And yo, of course, is first person singular. So you're going to spend about seven or eight minutes on each side. Go back and forth. The more you do, the better it is. Um, you're going to put your names on the top, kind of like we have here with Juana, Juan and Juanita. And after seven, eight minutes, flip to the other side and... You'll do this for about 18, or excuse me, 15 minutes or so, and you'll turn it into Senora Berg. Make sure your names are on it, okay? Um, let's see, is there homework for tomorrow? I think there is. The homework that I had previously assigned for today, I thought I'd give you an extra day to do it. Um, select the appropriate verb to complete each sentence. So this is what I talked about in yesterday's video. So you have to choose the correct form of the verb on the, based on the ending and the meaning of the verb. So like I said yesterday, we need a yo form verb. So we know it's got to end in o, so it's either compro or llevo. Compro means I buy. I buy the books in the backpack. Doesn't make sense. Yo llevo. I carry. So you should use your vocab list letter I, J, and K to figure out what these verbs mean. And then based on the ending... And the subject, you'll be able to choose the correct verb. Alrighty? Thanks for being great. I appreciate it. Um, and there'll be another short video tomorrow. Don't forget letter A quiz on Tuesday. Letter A quiz on Tuesday. There's also, I believe, a quizzes. But that'll be in the Canvas announcement. Alright, take care.